aside from doing a deal, you have to do an education campaign. You have to have a president in particular who's willing to go on TV with charts and show what their facts are. I do think the American people would be behind a sensible plan. I think they need to be educated. I think they need to be a part of the discussion. I think they need to, to know just how severe the problems are and why the Super Committee and the Congress and the President are going to have to come up with some, some frankly painful solutions. Um, but I think when they know the facts, they, they will have the, um, they, they will be behind it because the average American is, is very sensible and, and we're going to have to have sensible uh, plans to deal with this very big problem. None of us like to tighten our belt. It sometimes cinches. Uh, but I think the American public understands that we have a tough challenge confronting us, and they want to see that we're tough enough uh, to do so in a productive, successful way. If you tell people really what you're doing and why you're doing it, if you explain it to them, if you explain the process of how you got to the numbers or the decisions that you're making, even though they may not like them, they'll respect that process and they'll respect you. I think our political system will ultimately have to reach a comprehensive fiscal plan. The question is, will we do it in a preemptive and prudent manner and before we have a debt crisis? Or will Washington typically wait until a crisis is at our doorstep and we have to take dramatic and draconian actions in order to, to stabilize the markets uh, and restore stability? There's no perfect plan for any anyone on the, uh, of each party. Everybody has to give something, but isn't that what America's about? Isn't it about us coming together as a community? Isn't it about doing what we need to do to make sure that the future that our children and grandchildren have is gonna be better than the one that we had? I think the American people uh, are hungering for something big. I choose to be obstinately optimistic that yes, we can come together as a free people to discipline ourselves and act for the future and address these problems effectively. You know, Apple and companies like it have demonstrated many times that uh, consumers don't know exactly uh, what will excite them and, and what they want most until they see it. The American people have not yet been shown a common sense, persuasive program that will uh, deliver uh, fiscal solvency, economic health, and uh, a better future for our children. And uh, I look forward to the day when people in both parties summon the courage to uh, uh, look past these uh, temporary polls and uh, uh, lay before, the Ameri uh, before Americans a, a program that uh, has that sort of promise. I do think a go big approach is easier than a go small approach. Uh, the, uh, if you're going to just nickel and dime things, you get one interest versus another, uh, or you get one interest strongly committed to defeating whatever you're going to do. If you go big, and the obvious model is the 1986 tax reform, then you got all the interests competing against each other. And I think paradoxically it's easier for uh, members of Congress to resist uh, the cries of a million angry interest groups as opposed to the cries of one really angry interest groups. And if you go big, you marshal public opinion, which senses that we've got to make some big changes. You basically win over the people who want simplicity uh, in our tax code and in our budget. And if you people are willing to say, hey, everyone's taking a hit, I think they're going to be a lot more uh, willing to go along with you than if they say, I'm taking a hit, but he's not going to take a hit. The American people get it. They're ahead of their elected leaders. They know we're living beyond our means. They know we can't grow our way out. We can't just cut our way out. We can't tax our way out. That we need to put everything on the table. Everybody needs to be at the table. And we need comprehensive and transformational reforms to our budget processes and, uh, and controls, to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and other health care spending, to defense and other spending, as well as comprehensive tax reform. And we need it soon because the clock is ticking and time is not working in our favor. I would say to members of both parties, you were elected to make tough decisions. You were elected to provide leadership for this country in tough times. We're, we're coming to a point that you're being put to the test. 
Uh, it is critically important that you work together, and, and in fact, you've got to watch each other's back. This shouldn't have got, become so political that it's uh, not a solvable problem. If the super committee fails, it will be not a failure just of the committee. It'll be a failure of the Congress and our country. Uh, we brought the, uh, uh, the country to the precipice of default in paying our debt. Uh, that undermined confidence here at home and around the world. Uh, I've talked to numerous business leaders, uh, large and small, who have indicated to me that the success of the uh, a debt reduction committee is critical if they're going to have confidence in America's ability to manage its finances in a way uh, that will keep our economy uh, growing and will maintain fiscal stability and responsibility.